This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Um, ultimately, AJ is going to lose the title to Raven in another King of the Mountain match before one of the biggest matches of his career with Samoa Joe comes into TNA and is immediately put into the X division and an unbreakable, which is a big time pay-per-view because it's going to be the first five-star match that, that Dave Meltzer, uh, would award, uh, to, to AJ styles. It might actually be, I need to look at that, but I don't think he's given AJ too many more of that, but it's a three-way. AJ, Samoa Joe, and Christopher Daniels. People were talking about this match because back then it felt like, you know, five star matches were pretty damn rare from Dave. I know that's not something you ever really cared about, but I'm sure you remember the buzz about this three way at Unbreakable. The big, big takeaway going in and coming out of it was, oh, wow, TNA really did put their money where their mouth was. They really did back up their marketing slogan. They really are giving the new guys an opportunity. That, that kind of a validation on some things that, that you could not argue against the fact that they were positioned, promoted, they were the main event of a pay-per-view, of a monthly pay-per-view, and they obviously delivered. And it, as far as the hype and everything, I can't say that I like pulled up in, in gorilla and sat down and watched every move. I was, I knew they were going to have a good match. Did you know people to this day, when they sort of watch it back, they kind of go, I know I've heard, heard these comments. Wow. I didn't realize Chris Daniels was that damn good. Oh yeah. yeah. And then they'll say, Oh, wow. You know, Samoa Joe, I didn't, you know, th this, and then they're like, you know, AJ's great and everything. And I'm thinking, well, to put a three-way together on that level, it takes all three guys hitting on all cylinders. And, yeah, no and, and that's where you, you, because yeah, I hear those comments and it's like, you just can't take AJ for granted. I think that's the first three-way he ever gave five stars to. Oh, wow. I think before that, it was just tag matches or singles matches. I know it's AJ's only five-star match ever. I know it's Christopher Daniels only five-star match ever. Wow. Out of a year from October of 04 to October of 05, Samoa Joe had three, one against punk for ring of honor, one against Kobashi for ring of honor. And then this three-way for you guys, September 11th, 2005, but unbelievable to see what these guys could put together. And really this has to make you a somewhat proud Papa. If you know, you're trying to cater to that quote unquote, smart fan, that quote unquote work rate fan. And the X division isn't less than it's different than, and now there's a three way with three guys who probably weren't necessarily known on the national level until TNA. And now they get five stars. It's gotta be like your plan working out here, right? Well, I, I can remember kind of having these thoughts and vibes and wanting to share it. Hey guys, act like you've been there. Act like you've been there. Act like this is, you knew this is what, because we did Th that kind of vibe, but it was great. It just, and you know, you go back and look at the asylum. I mean, the, my, the impact zone, Orlando crowds and energy and excitement and that pit, uh, we call it, or, you know, they didn't have chairs right around ringside. Those fans, they were the sixth man. They, they made the match go to another level. That's, you know, crowd engagement is to this day, I mean, you just watch recently Cody. I mean, his connection with the audience is, I hate to say peak, because that means it's going to come down, but it's at an all-time high. But just that emotional connection with an audience. You know, you think about Stone Cold in his heyday. You check out Broken Skull yet? Oh, yeah, it was fantastic. I appreciate you guys putting over the podcast so much. I watched it this weekend, forgot to mention it to you. How about that? But no, just the emotional connection that Austin would have, that a rock would have, that a Cody would have, but the, the audience connected with that X division three-way main event on, on that kind of level. They just were, they were so engaged in it. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you're going to notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.